Well, welcome back to the uh, the garage. Uh, sitting here while I'm in quarantine, decided to get a few things done. Um, one thing I did is I ended up purchasing some of that uh, insulation material, so I'm going to put it underneath the floor pans. Um, so far, it's looking pretty good. I think it'll be uh, it'll be good. It'll kind of help deaden the noise. Not that that matters much, but I think it'll also help with a little bit of insulation. The other thing I ran into is uh, starting to put together the. The centerpiece, um, the cover for the center console, or the, the tunnel if you'd like. And uh, what you need to watch out for is when you run those lines, it doesn't say it, or maybe I missed it, but it, you gotta make sure you keep them tight to that top box. If you don't, this piece here is not gonna slide underneath them. So I had to adjust those slightly. Um, but anyway, got that done. And then the other major, oh, the other major activity I did is uh, I got my uh, my fuel pump in. So there's the fuel pump and the filter. You'll notice down here um, I went and purchased uh, aftermarket uh, clamps for that or hoses. Uh, I couldn't get anything that would turn tight enough, and these were these are pretty nice. Um, I'll put uh, a link in for the company that makes those, but uh, definitely a fantastic job. And while I was at it, I actually did the same thing here. You'll see the line coming out to the fuel for the fuel and out to the wing. Instead of doing the uh, the vent pipe, I ended up going with uh, with these as well. Anyway, so I needed to get out here. Finally got some stuff started, getting some things done. The other big thing for me is uh, here I've started planning out what I'm going to do with the antennas. I'm going to mount both of the antennas. I have the uh, these Rami antennas, uh, the bent ones that would go underneath. So I'm going to mount two of those on the bottom, one on each side. So this one over here, you can see I made a, a bracket for it. I'll rivet that down. And then I have another one over on the other side. It's not, uh, it doesn't have the screw mounts, uh, the, the uh, nut plates in it or anything yet, but uh, I'll put those in. First, I want to drill the holes through and get the holes into the fuselage and uh, get that mounted. So uh, starting to make some progress. Uh, other than that, I think, you know, that's that's the main piece. And then of course, uh, for the back here, and I'll show some video of it, I made uh, access plates so that I could get in here and if I needed to deal with the step or anything. I originally thought about putting my antennas back there, but I figured, eh, the floor is not quite as solid. If you look here, you don't get really much, much movement. And it's so close to um, another bulkhead here, I just figured it'd be a little more secure. Not that I'm worried about it coming off anyway, but uh, I think it'll, uh, it'll work out well. And then the other thing that uh, was pretty nice is when you order the, the antenna, if you order the Rami, the Rami or whatever they're called, um, what you end up getting is you end up getting and where did that go? Here, let me go see if I can find it. You get a template, which makes it a lot easier. Oh, here we go. So this is actually a back plate that, that comes with it. I'm not gonna be using that. If you, uh, if you weren't gonna do the, um, the nut plates, you could use that and have, use their screw package out of it. But uh, the big thing is they also give you this, which is um, a template. So it shows you kind of where you got to mark the holes. It tells you the sizes. Um, so that's helped out uh, pretty big, pretty much as well. Anyway, uh, just a quick update. I wanted to uh, just record it, uh, let everyone kind of know what's going on, but uh, slowly back to making some progress. And uh, anyway, have a great one. Bye now.